Ravensburger has teamed up with The Masked Marvel to tell you 39 things that you may not know about the Gravitrax Power Starter and Finish Element Box. Watch to the end to see some creative uses for these elements. Let's dive in. Inside the box you'll find the Power Dome Starter, Finish Trigger, and Finish Arena. This set is an add-on expansion, so you need a Gravitrax Starter Set to use it. The Starter and Finish Element Box adds power capabilities to your regular unpowered Gravitrax sets without having to buy an entire Gravitrax Power Starter Set. There are no marbles in the box. This means that about the only thing you can do with the contents of the box by themselves is play Jingle Bells on the Dome Starter. Or combine it with the Power Switch Element and Beat Box. When a marble goes through the finish trigger, the trigger sends a wireless signal to activate the dome starter or any other power receiver elements which are set to the same color as the trigger. Both the power dome starter and finish trigger can be set to one of three wireless channels, red, green, or blue. This is useful when you start adding more power elements to control different events with different triggers. The LED button displays the color of the currently selected wireless channel. The finish arena is not a powered piece. Only the dome starter and the finish trigger are powered. The finish trigger is only a transmitting element. It does not receive wireless signals from other triggers. The dome starter is only a receiving element. It does not transmit signals to other power elements. Other receiving elements in the Gravitrax power line include the power lever and switch. Press the LED button one time to turn on a power element. Power elements default to the red channel when turned on. A second press of the LED button changes the selected channel from red to green. A third press of the LED button changes the selected channel from green to blue. A fourth press of the LED button turns the power element off. Power elements also turn themselves off automatically after 10 minutes. If an element turns itself off, it will remember its selected color channel and retain that color when it is turned back on. This is great if you have set the channels for your power elements the way you need them for your track and don't want to lose that setting. However, if the element is manually turned off, then the red channel will be selected when turned back on. The dome starter can also be turned back on by pressing down on the dome. When the dome launcher is turned off, the first press of the dome will only turn it back on, not launch a marble. Once the dome launcher is turned on, pressing on the dome will launch one marble. If the finish trigger is turned off, running a marble through it will turn it back on and simultaneously transmit a wireless signal. This means you don't need to turn on the triggers before using them. You just need to make sure that your receiving elements are powered on in order to respond to the signal. The finish trigger is designed to be directional. Marbles should go through in the direction of the printed arrows. If a marble is sent through in the opposite direction, the trigger may not activate as reliably. This is different from the regular power trigger, which works reliably in both directions. The only difference in these triggers is the finish trigger cover has these cutouts. This means the marble is slightly more visible going through the finish trigger. But if the finish trigger is turned backwards, that cutout may not corral the marble enough to reliably activate the trigger button inside. I don't understand this design decision. In my mind, the finish trigger's cutout does not add much visibility to the marble, and it would be much more useful if all triggers were bi-directional. A clear plastic bridge piece would have worked better to see the marble as it crosses the finish line. The set takes three AAA batteries, two for the dome starter and one for the trigger. A marble that is too fast or too slow may not activate the trigger, but most marble speeds will work. I even got it to work right after a magnetic cannon. The finish arena has a removable tray that you can pick up and use to pour marbles back into the dome launcher. If you happen to have the Gravitrax Power Remote, it can also be used to activate the dome starter. The dome starter cannot release multiple marbles at once. It can only release a single marble at a time. A line of fast marbles running through the trigger can cause the dome starter to fall behind. The dome starter holds seven marbles inside its dome for launching, but more can be added on top or using a flex tube. The dome starter has an internal ramp that rolls waiting marbles to the launching mechanism. The dome starter accelerates exiting marbles with a two height tile drop. That's two centimeters. 
Now I'm going to show you some creative ways to use the elements from the Gravitrax Power Starter and Finish Element Box. Use these elements to rerun your entire track when a marble completes the track. Use them to coordinate timing of marbles running in parallel tracks. Place the trigger earlier in the track to get lots of marbles running through your track at once. And here's an extra bonus. Place the trigger immediately after the dome starter to launch a marble bullet train. That's 40 secrets of the Gravitrax Power starter and finish element.